Radio. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with Xbox Beast Fire. And Microsoft is dropping these pre-E3 bombs. So I'm like, yeah, they got all these great announcements coming out already. What the fuck are they going to talk about at E3? So unless you're stuck up in the attic and your roof is slanted and you have very, very pissy sheets and very old furniture, unless you've been on Craigslist all day trying to sell your your used uh, GTX 680 or whatever the goddamn case be, or unless you've been laying on your stomach all goddamn day, whatever the goddamn case. Oh, shit. (laughs) You know, Microsoft came out today and announced Xbox Game Pass. And my God, my God, my God. This deal is so fucking great, right? You know, game stocks, st- stocks have damn near crashed. <laughs> Listen, I bullshit you now. I bullshit you now. It's a true thing. Uh, for ten dollars a month, when that what say ten dollars a month, you get access to over a hundred games, both backwards and forwards compatible. Xbox 360 titles, Xbox One titles. Um, you can, I believe you can stream it over, you know, your Xbox Live devices, whatever that damn case may be. Uh, if you decide to purchase the game, um, it will be 20% off the title. I believe not mistaken, going to switch games every month. So there's going to be something different in there every month. Uh, so you know what I mean? So like this like is totally just, This is what PS PlayStation Now should have been. You know what I mean? This is what PlayStation Now should have been. You know, if you, they, Sony should have gave us, gave the consumer access to PlayStation 3 titles, you know, and... Um, and what do you call it? Um, you know, PlayStation 4 titles. You know, what I mean, uh, this is something that they should have done, you know. But Sony, uh, what they was charging people per title at one time, like it was just like crazy as hell. But what do you feel about this thing? Is this a game changer? Is this like, uh, stick it the right tone? What do you think about yeah, it? This, yeah, this, this is a game changer. This officially just fucking killed PS Now. PS Now is fucking dead. Dead. Who 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 is gonna invest in PS now? You know this is very similar to like the EA access. I, I this is this is phenomenal, and I just hope they keep adding more and more games to the mix. But it's 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 a it's a good move from Microsoft, and yeah, it's finally some good news out of the Xbox camp, man. Yeah, like I don't know. Like so, what, what about you, P Reaper? Is this something that you, you you're interested in? Oh my God, people can finally afford to buy games. Way to go, Xbox people! I'm so happy <laughs> for you. You can finally afford it. No more saying, oh, I'm too broke. Oh, I have to, I have to use the EA access. No, no, just ten dollars a month. I'm, I'm cool. I get a hundred games. Way to go! I was gonna be like I said. I do have EA access. Um, I, you know, and I don't, I don't think you know much of it. Say nothing of it, you know. But I may just cancel my EA access now, you know. But I like you know getting. Uh, the, I guess it really depends on the. They'll uh, be going so crazy. They'll be going crazy now. I'm saying, but look, I don't. What I need two two streaming game services. Well, you know, yes, EA, EA access is for the year is uh what I pay twenty four dollars in Canada, so it's got to be cheaper in the states. Was it twenty bucks in the states? Yeah, that's like for one know, year. Flavor. You get you get you get all you get like you get all the games that are coming out five days early, and uh-huh. you get to play them for up to oh. ten hours. Mm-hmm. You get you get you get. All the games are in the vault, and like a lot of games, like two, three months after release, they're going into the vault. It's mm-hmm. it's it's a it's a great, great, great value. No way in hell should you ever get rid of that. No, no. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, well, you added up the price. This is ten bucks a month, right? Nine ninety nine a month. Uh, One hundred twenty dollars a year. Yeah, you know what I mean. And um, on top, I guess you. I guess, I'm, listen, I'm looking at, at how you say as the cup being half empty. You got sixty bucks a year for Xbox Live, one hundred twenty dollars a month for um, uh, Xbox Game Pass. Uh, then you got my Netflix. My next what was the Netflix a month? Ten bucks. I'm, I'm also <laughs> playing for fucking Hulu. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm fucking listen. I'm fucking paying out the ass here, man. So I'm saying I got if I had to cut something. Now listen, I know they're bringing. They're supposed to be bringing out to the world in spring. Uh, but a few selective Xbox, you know, mem- preview members, they're going to test it out now and see how it is. But overall, like besides you being an Xbox fan, do you think this is a great option for the gamers? For those who can't afford regular buying games, yes. No. For whatever you can't afford, like you, a person like you, T Reaper, you get the games every whatever comes out, you own it. So with this, you know, is this something that you're interested in? 
Well, again, like I said, it depends on the 100 games that you give me. So if it's 100 games that I already have, I'm not going. I'm not going to you know invest in it. It has to have games that I don't have or that I would like to play. You know, the reason why I don't have EA access is because the majority of EA are all sports games, and I hate sports games. So, and then the ones that aren't are you know Battlefields and Battlefronts and stuff like that, and I already own all of them. So, no, but you, but so you you still do. But what's the thing with EA Access though? You are you do get the game, you know, for, what five days? Oh, early. and Titanfall. I forgot about Titanfall. Yeah, that one too. You, you get the game five days early. Uh, you get um, if you do decide to buy it, you get like I think like 20 percent off the game. I mean, EA Access is not that bad. It kind of pays for itself. I like yeah. having a goddamn game, you know, a few days early to check it out. I'm gonna like it, and at least trying it before I buy it. You know what I mean? And yeah. you are an achievement whore. You get to lock it all in the achievements and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of, I kind of screwed myself in the last like week and a half because I got Four Honor that is a total like achievement boss. So I like basically got 60 gamer score for beating it, and mm-hmm. I feel so freaking pissed off because it was a total waste of my money. And then I got Horizon Zero Dawn, um, and I'm pretty much almost done with it, except I have to restart it. It's going to be one of those Final Fantasy 15 concepts. We're going to have to redo the whole game again, which is going to suck. But uh, then uh, you got Ghost Recon next week, so I, I'm hoping those achievements for Ghost Recon are actually going to fill my time for actually running it because I hate running the game and not getting the enough achievements to actually, like, Prohibit me. Yeah, I, I have. Well, you. I guess you haven't tried the multiplayer. Thing. I've been. I've been progressing through the story. I have yet to try the multiplayer in my damn self. Yeah, I didn't buy Poor Honor for multiplayer. That's. The, I bought it for the the story run. And I, and I. I actually the only the only walkthrough I haven't done is the samurai. So I already beat the game on normal, and then I and then I did the walkthroughs on easy, so I could actually just like run right through it. So it was like I did it on normal, get sixty gamer score, which was absolutely pathetic, and then I just run it on easy for my walkthroughs. Oh wow. Oh, okay, right, and I've right. run it. I've run it like t- like each level. Like I've done. I've done it twice now. The only thing I haven't done twice is this MRI, because then I got Horizon Zero Dawn uh, last night, and I like don't have time to do this MRI. I'll do this MRI by the like the end of the month, because it's not going to take very long. It's only going to take like like less than thirty minutes. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So D, today's GDC, right? You there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. All right. Today's GDC. What are the big announcements coming out of GDC 2017? What do we have? Well, we got a lot of Vega announcements. Uh, ba- uh, basically, Vega is going to be uh, very affordable. Like, uh, if we can go by AMD's like track Ryzen? record. Like uh, Ryzen? Yeah, yeah, because Ryzen is very affordable. Polaris was very affordable. And they're coming out saying the same thing with Vega, that they want the mass market to adopt it and that they that it's going to be very affordable. Um, as well, the architectural differences over Polaris are vast. They're using... A new a new memory cache. They have a lot higher memory bandwidth, and they're able to just render things that look a lot more realistic. and uh, And they're targeting 4K resolution minimum. So uh, I I can't wait for Vega. Like I wish they gave us more meat, but um, you know it, uh, uh, some significant news came out of there. And uh, from what I can tell, Vega is going to be a 4K monster, and it's not going to be as expensive as you guys would expect it to be because they want this to be a disruptive product. So they're going to price it a lot cheaper than NVIDIA. And like NVIDIA has a 1080 Ti coming out, and from what I'm hearing behind the scenes is that the Vega GP- GPU stomps this. like It just annihilates them, and they're going to be coming in at a very aggressive price just like Ryzen, where you know Ryzen is coming in at a much cheaper price than Intel, and some of the benchmarks are leaking out, and it's fucking stomping Intel. Stomping. Yeah, I, heard, I heard Intel is in panic mode. They kind of dropped the prices on a few of their... Um, yes, yes. And, 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 and that's not going to be enough, because that's going to let the consumer know that you've been fucking gouging them for years. And and even though you're dropping the price in some of your processors, it's still not cheaper than Ryzen, and Ryzen is still outperforming you. And people, they've been waiting for um, Ryzen for a long time, and it's selling like fucking hotcakes, man. And just imagine the Ryzen CPU and the Vega GPU being inside the Xbox Scorpio. And from and they they named they announced the new name of the um, AMD uh, GPU. It's going to be called the RX Vega. So it's not going to be the RX 590, 580. It's going to be the RX Vega. And that led me to this thought, thinking, you know what? Maybe they're going to call the Xbox the Xbox Vega. Xbox Vega? Maybe. 
because Vegas, the Vega is not going to be like Vega 9 or 29 or 209. It's just going to be Vega. So it's RX Vega. That's the name of it. So I don't know. I was just thinking maybe they're going to call it Xbox Vega. I, 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 honestly, I kind of hope that they just stick. Uh, uh, I hope they're not, they're, they're not going to stick with Scorpio. That's for sure. You say they, you say they're not going to stick with Scorpio. No, I just hope not, just, maybe I don't know Scorpio. Xbox Infinity or Xbox 4K. Xbox Infinity, I like. I, uh, Xbox 4K, I don't know. Xbox Infinity, I, I do like. And also too, I, oh, before I uh, get off of this, um, they also announced some cloud gaming that they're going to be doing um, with AMD. Mm -hmm. AMD partnered up with this um, Liquid Liquidity, I, I believe is the name of the company. They partnered up with them, and they're going to be powering Vega GPUs in the cloud. And you'll be able to play. They use the Microsoft Surface, which just runs on i5. It doesn't have any fancy GPU in it. And they were able to stream Battlefield 1 uh, in uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second on their device. And then the gentleman that was uh, discussing it said that they'll even be able to offer 4K resolution. And Great. also, too, they'll be able to put it on smartphones. And they said it's going to be a free service if you if you allow ads to be on it. And then I guess if you don't want ads and you'd have to like pay for the service. So this also led me to believe is Xbox Scorpio going to be doing something similar like that? Because we know that they have a huge cloud server. And then today's announcement, you know, with this uh, new game program that they're having the, for $9.99 a month. Um, I don't know. It leads me to believe, you know, Scorpio is going to be a fucking beast, man. So you're excited. Yeah, man, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hyped up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to temper my own expectations. But from the, the technical stuff that I saw out of GDC today is, is very promising because you know this stuff is for the developers, and you know it, it's telling them the new tools that are available, the new technology for them to use in their games. So these are the guys that make the fucking games for us. Now, if they're getting a whole shitload of new tools that makes their job easier and that gives them a lot higher graphic fidelity. You better believe mm -hmm. they're going to apply that, and we're going to see it trickle down to us in our games coming up. You know, in the next year, two years. Next year, um, and also, uh, also too, they did they did point out that some of this stuff has actually been in development already, and that some of the games coming out this year will be utilizing some of these uh, technologies. Okay. Well, well, again, so like I said, Microsoft has been on a roll. This is listen. This, this is what I'm talking about Microsoft being the behemoth that you are. Listen, I've been riding. I've been on fields. I've been on your ass, boy. Pause. No homo. I've, you know, I've been, you know, I've been doing the Lord's work, and again, like I said, my problem, not, you know, I don't have to have a problem, but my, you know, displeasure, disdain for Microsoft so far, this generation, is that they've been fucking every, reacting to what everything Sony does, and instead of just coming out on the offensive and just doing your own thing. Now, like I said, again, going back to the Xbox Game Pass, like, this is what PlayStation Now should have been, you know what I mean? Like, this is, this is what you call a service, $10 a month. Access to Xbox One titles, not just old ass, you know, 360 titles. Dope shit. And like, and like I said, they're not gouging. Sony want to charge you a, a, a hourly rate of some dog shit at first. You know what I mean? But they're for yeah. the consumer. So, I so, so Sony's so anti consumer. Just a little example. And I'm not dogging the game because I actually I, I love Horizon Zero Dawn. We can get okay. into that later on. But uh, when I was, I, I pre ordered the game uh, in the store because it was just a. I know I'm going to keep the game for a while, so I said, okay, I'll pre-order it in the store. And when I was pre-ordering, it said, this game is not subject for any refund or, or, or any return of any type of funds. Even though I've pre-ordered the game and the game's not officially out yet, it told me that it's not eligible for that. So they're basically saying, you know what, once you give us this money, forget about it. You ain't getting your money back no matter what. So they're really fucking anti-consumer. That is for sure. And it's been chronicled all the times people have you know, tried to get their money back from Sony. It's just... It's just fucking outrageous. So for you guys that have PS Now, make sure you fucking cancel it before the end of the month because that's getting taken off of all the devices. And if you don't cancel it, they're going to fucking charge you again. And good luck getting your money back, by the way. Mm -hmm. well, well, like I said in the day. Uh, also, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Um, Sony, I'm sorry, Microsoft, like I said, again, came out or let, you know, uh, the Shadow, um, what was it, Shadow, uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. That's the name of the whole goddamn game. Uh, play anywhere, myself. play anywhere. Uh, you can Sony? buy one, buy one goddamn title. It came uh, out, you know, oh. Windows Ten. What the hell's going on? Yo, yo, yo! What, what the hell, my people? What's going on? Oh, how, is, how how is a pony invading Xbox Beast Fire? How's what that the fuck? Listen, let me tell you, son. Let me tell you, son. What the fuck? 
I trained all my life with Metal Gear Solid, <laughs> all right? Motherfucking dealer gave me slept. I threw him a fucking little gay porn. <laughs> I called him my little cardboard box. Now I am in motherfucking beast fire, all right? <laughs> but I'm here for one reason. Yo, that Game Pass idea is fucking lit, bro. I put oh, that tweet that shit when I read shit. that. Yo, that shit is fucking. Now that's a fucking service, bro. That yeah. shit is yeah. nice. You know, I'll cut that shit with that shit. I'll be able to cancel Gamefly. That shit. Is- <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's when, when you think about it, that's really what it is. It's digital renting. You know, you the pay nine ninety five. The truth. Ten bucks a month. Yeah. And yeah, you pay ten bucks a month, and you can fucking play. You know, I mean, I'm sure they're gonna juggle our games, but that's you can't beat that shit. That shit is dope. That shit and you know, is dope. And you know, and you know what's funny? I'm pretty sure that they want to do something similar to like, like this at launch with and, and all the blowback they got with this DRM bullshit. And now look, everyone's fucking soaking it up when we could have had this possibly three fucking years ago. You know yeah, but uh, man, we, we're not gonna bring up old wounds. But I'm just saying that game pass shit. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna bring up old wounds. But that game pass shit. When I read it, I was like, "Yo, that shit is dope." And what I like is it's not streaming. You're actually downloading it, installing it, and you're playing it right on your console. That yeah. shit is dope. Yo, and you know me, I'm a, I'm a plagiarist. Sony, copy yeah. that shit. <laughs> yeah, Sony that. won't because if Sony did that, they'd have to kill PS now because. Yeah. And they paid so much money for those Gakai servers yeah. that it's just well, they, they can can't use do it. On the Gakai servers, they can use it. <laughs> you know, what Sony needs to do. So PS now has to evolve. They have to yeah. allow PlayStation Four games titles in there. There's no excuse for that shit. Now. Console been up three, then in four years they have a, a, a big enough backlog. The shit that Sony tried to do, they really tried to fucking gouge. They they tried to make it like uh, Blockbuster digitally. You had you had to pay hourly. For some oh, old yeah. ass places, yeah, they were bugging with that shit. That's why they didn't take yeah. off yeah. by them being greedy. Had they just let you ten dollars, had you have access to older older games? But here's the problem: though. Sony didn't also want to share the revenue with the developers. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, you know, what I mean, they just they didn't look at the, at the long and, and honestly, they kind of damaged the brand, uh, the, uh, the, the the service. You know what I mean? It's fucking places now it's a fucking joke. Like, you know what I mean? You know, the, but, the whole thing, the whole thing with online streaming, it was originally meant for people with weak hardware. Being able to play, you know, good looking games or something. Like yep. That. But nobody yep. really cares for that. Nobody has an e machine and wants to play The Witcher or, you know, whatever the fuck. <laughs> nobody does. That. Make those. <laughs> if, if gamers, if you want to play a game, they're going to get at least a respectable hardware. You know, at least they're going to get a PS4 or Xbox One. No one's fucking trying to play fucking The Witcher on the Switch. You know what I'm saying? No one's doing any bullshit like that. So that's where the whole streaming thing is just not a good concept. You know, that the Game Pass is a much better. It's a much better program. That shit is dope. What's happening, guys? How's what's everybody? Up, hey, what's up, my brother? Uh, I got uh, I got Colt e- uh, Colt Eastwood. I sent him uh, the link up there in the, the bar. There. Who the hell's Colt Eastwood? It's a gay porn director. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, he's the guy I told you I was gonna try to have yeah. one. Uh, so he, I guess he's gonna join any any minute now. So okay. anyway, yeah, had some PC problems. What's new, right? Okay, all right. Your e-machine went out on you. No, no problem. Yeah, uh, I, I just had everything put in a new case and just all kinds of bullshit. So, hey, Porter Rock, is that Game Pass good enough for you to get an Xbox One? I'm gonna get an Xbox One anyway. That's but the, right. game pass, the Game Pass. Just you know, that's icing on the cake. Though. Okay. All right. Oh, we got Colt Eastwood here. Coast Colt, Colt, Colt Eastwood is his name. He's just joined now. Yep, okay. I'm here. All right, all right, all right. So, all right, dealer, gamer, you just you just hopping in. Uh, you just left your Trump meeting. The Trump, the Trump rally. <laughs> uh, listen, <laughs> fucking, uh, Microsoft. They're dropping fucking pre E three bombs. Uh, it's, you had the Shadow Middle Earth Shadow of War announcement came out yesterday. Buy one copy, have access to the Xbox One, Windows ten, and it's going to support pro- you know Project Scorpio. Uh, and then we got the Xbox Game Pass today. I haven't spoken to you verbally, so how do you feel about this? Well, before I get started, I uh, just want to say, everyone, this is Colt. Uh, a lot of people saw his video on Twitter that I shared, and it kind of blew up in the community. Uh, he's more of a PC guy, but, you know, he he's, he, he really does look at things kind of down the center, uh, unlike Next Gen's ass sitting on Grinder. So, basically, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I think it's great. Uh, Shadow of Mordor took a lot of people by surprise, right? Really good game. Nailed the Arkham combat. Shadow of War looks awesome. We know it's going to get... Uh, Scorpio support. So if you're a console guy, of course, it's going to look phenomenal. And play anywhere, that's just like a cherry on top, right? So, 
I mean, those Play Anywhere games, obviously they use UWP, so they're basically doing one port job and getting two games out of it. That's mm-hmm. why they kind of throw it in there. Mm-hmm. I think it's great, man. But yeah, but you see, did you see the Easter egg from Microsoft? Only Microsoft's trailer was 4K. Um, yeah. Sony shit was 1080p. Are they throwing an Easter egg there? I I don't know. I mean, I think it's powerful enough because I'm getting 4K 40 frames on the first one. So maybe, who knows? I mean, I'm sure the second one looks a little better, but they can make some compromises on shadows or or maybe optimize it a little better. I'm sure we can get 4K 30 pretty high settings in that game on Scorpio. Well, what do you think, Cole? What do you think yeah. about that? I think it's great to bring the game to PC on Xbox at the same time. I, I love hearing all these people complain that uh, Play Anywhere screws over Xbox, you know, that uh, it's just... Why have an Xbox you get on PC? But th- these are free f- features that anybody can have, whether you want them or not. And I have an Xbox One, and I've been playing more on my PC. But, you know, it's cool. I can play a game like Shadow War on my PC, highest settings, enjoy the way it looks, and play with my buddy on Xbox for playing co-op games. Mm-hmm. And people complaining about that play anywhere. I didn't I didn't hear one fucking person complaining about PlayStation Vita's cross-buy, right? And, you know, just to point out a little bit of hypocrisy, get buy one, get two. There is no downside. It's great for the consumer. And they serve their purposes, right? So, you know, Vita was obviously one was mobile and one was home console. But, you know, people people like to take their Xboxes with them or maybe go in the other room. You know, it's going to look very similar. Who knows? It may even have a 60 FPS option on the game. So it'll look damn near identical on both. Uh, it, there is no downside to it. I just don't see it. Yeah, that's what people never talk about, you know. There are people on this planet that have an Xbox in one room and their PCs in another room, and Play Anywhere makes that happen. You can play on your TV in one room or go play in front of your monitor in the other room, and that's just cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> but, um, but, but let me ask you a question. All right, fuck it. Let's go straight to the chaser. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, like I said, I've been very, uh, I say critical of Microsoft in the last two weeks, and I've been doing the Lord's work. Now, with that being said, uh, you know, I've always said this thing. <clears throat> You know, Microsoft be the behemoth that you are, and they're this is the this is the Microsoft of the old here. Big announcements. This is not, we're not even in E3 yet. You know what I mean? We're not even here yet. They had the shadow, and I, I said this before. Going forward, all of their you know the AAA you know multiplayer games are going to come out. Hey, we'll support Scorpio. Just throw it out there. Whether you got the marketing, <coughs> you know, um, rights, whatever. Just throw it out there. Leave that shit you know fresh <laughs> in, in the gamer's mind. Um, but I, I, I like I said. E3 is what in June. What are they going to show? Like already, they just like for this Game Pass came out of no goddamn way. You know what I mean? Like this is a hundred titles, ten bucks a month. This is big. You know? Yeah. Once again, options are not bad. If you like EA Access, I'd say this is a better value, much better. Uh, and, and hopefully, if they rotate thing, things and out, kind of like Netflix, right? And let you know, hey, bitch, you got a week to play this, or it's going out next month, and we're going to rotate in some new stuff. That's awesome, and if it does well, then uh, that will be even better. But hopefully, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, hopefully, it supports kind of early access, like EA access, right? Because that's one reason a lot of people even subscribe to EA. You think, with newer, you think they're going to put newer games in there? Well, like I'm saying with their own titles, at least with exclusives, right? For the for the console. Oh, maybe they, and maybe that would be a good selling point. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got, yeah, that'll be a good selling. They put like the <clears throat> fours of seventeen in that motherfucker, right? But that, right? uh, that that would be a, a selling point, you know, to play that a couple of days earlier. I'm with you. Is it is it just a straight down the middle, ten bucks a month, or is there kind of? I guess we don't know too much about it. Is well, it just ten bucks a month, or do they offer? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just month. ten bucks a month. Yeah. They, uh, there's yeah. no like eighty bucks for a year or anything. Kind I haven't of heard shit. anything like that. No, I haven't either. But that that will be dope. They do something like maybe uh, prepaid, like Xbox Live or something. You know, you put you buy a card and maybe it's like ninety bucks, save you twenty bucks or something. I think that would be dope. You know, but either way, it's cool. cool. Either way, it's a it's a it's a pretty damn good value for what it is. And mm-hmm. once again, options are good. They're gonna use this like hell with bundles, right? Yeah, I mean, launch it. You get a buy a console and get a hundred games to play with it on on hey, day you, one. You're my favorite white boy, right? That's smart. I didn't think about that. I'm still at <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, and for real, that's good because they, they did it with the EA Access. Was it last Christmas or something? They did. You, you had the, yeah. You, the you know they're going to be throwing this Game Pass in these bundles. Hundred games to buy an Xbox One. Hundred games for the first month or whatever. You know, six months. Who knows? They need commercials. Ten dollars a month. Access to over hundred titles. Huge. 
Listen, Sony, listen, they coming for Sony's ass right now, Pauls. They could they listen, they're on Sony's ass right now. Microsoft is not giving up, man. You know what I mean? They, they need to. They need to be very aggressive right now because But hey, Dylan, can we be honest? Fun. They haven't. They you know, so they Microsoft haven't. needs to step it up. Listen here, Colt. First of all, how you doing, my man? I'm doing real good. Real good. First, it's a pleasure to have you today. Let me Thank ask you, you, you me. let me let me pick your brain here. First, I'm speaking to you. I've seen your video, uh dope shit. Um, like, what are your thoughts on Microsoft? Their advertising, their marketing, their direction. Like, like well, they have this generation. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, they 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 have to do this stuff. Like you said, they came out of nowhere with this Xbox Pass today. You uh-huh. know, Phil Spencer just sent it out there, and it's not even ready with all the info. But they got to because they've been sitting on their rear ends uh, and fallen all year. Uh, you know, the whole scale bound thing and. And this is kind of this is a really flaccid year for them for games. I'm not really interested in a lot of the first party titles for Xbox. Um, last year was pretty awesome, but this year I'm not real hyped about much of anything. But oh, they no, need to. They got to step it up. Uh, what about the uh, what do they got? What do they got coming out this year? Uh, crackdown. Okay, crackdown. We're gonna probably first. They haven't, shown us, they haven't shown us a frame of crackdown in like a year. Yeah, Have right they? now uh, we got uh, State of the Gate too. I know Dill loves that goddamn game. We still uh, haven't seen a frame of that. That's only been like a, a, you know what I'm I saying. I mean, we saw it at E3 and uh, Undead Labs on their Twitter. They've released some more stuff. I mean, that game looks phenomenal. It's running in Unreal yeah. Engine Four. You know, I, I mean, I'm really looking forward to that title. I saw that tweet from them, and I actually that actually turned me on to that game. When I saw that tweet, the picture that they that they showed, I was like, holy shit, this game is going to be fucking awesome. Th- that one picture gave me that that whole uh, Walking Dead feel to it. Exactly. I mean, uh, the yeah. first one, even though it's an arcade game for the the 360, is still by far the best zombie game ever made to me anyway. Second mm-hmm. one's looking to capitalize wow. on that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Have you played it? Trust no, me. No. I just, just played a little bit of it. It's phenomenal. It, it's amazing. It's like some World War So I guess part two. This would be like some a major like World War Z type shit. Like they, they don't I don't know. I just know it's open world uh, co op, zombie survival game. How many? Two or four people, or how many people co op? Four at least. I know. Yeah, four. four at least. Least. Okay. All right, moving right and along. Forza Seven, though, you're right, Colt. Uh, in my opinion, as I've said before, uh, you know, I'm not looking forward to as much stuff this year as past years. But that's just my opinion. So Forza Seven, uh, state of the game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, and besides that, I think they're going to kind of reveal. There were they revealed several games last year. Like uh, there were two games they revealed last year at E3 that came out in the same year: Forza Horizon Three and Dead Rising Four. So it is possible for them to just announce a big AAA and it for it to hit. You know. Well, I got a question. Here's the thing. Fuck it. It is what it is. Uh, you had uh, Insomniac Games come out and they, you know, made this blanket statement. They would love to revisit the universe, or you know. Uh, uh, you know, so my sunset overdrive. Oh yeah. Um, they're not. They said they're not going to wait on, you know, Microsoft or whatever. Well, you know, I mean, basically saying, hey, this shit can go multiplayer because we own the IP, right? Cool. Do you think Phil and those guys should hop in on that right now? Because I, I, I enjoyed the game. I beat it. It was something new. Um, this generation. Do you think they should, you know, lock it down and, and, and invest in IP, or say, hey, or do it like Titanfall two and say, hey, fine, fuck. Yeah. Go. I don't. I think they go for multiplayer. I say just. Let let the Insomniac Games do the sequel for Sunset Overdrive. Let everybody have it. It'll yeah. be a better game. I really just don't think they're going to lock anything. We haven't seen them lock anything down, I don't think, since they announced their own exclusives. And the original PC. Sunset Overdrive didn't sell that much under Microsoft's wing, so I think it'd be yeah. in the best interest to go multi-plat yeah, on it. It only, it only sold 1.2 million, I think. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna pull a crap game on you guys, right? But listen, look, it came out. <laughs> it, it came out. Listen, it came out year one, not year one, but the, you know, 2014. The install base of the Xbox One was about what, maybe one mil, nine million at the time. I think yeah, it was around ten sure. or something at launch. Yeah, it's so still hitting a million. That's not too bad with that install base. And since one, since 1.2 million is something to scoff at in, in this climate. Well, multiplayer actually, that's, rule. that's that's about right. Actually, that's uh, Uncharted sold about ten percent of the install base. Uncharted yeah, I mean, Four for it's PlayStation. Not that bad, you know. What I mean, it didn't do Gears like or Halos. Game. I mean, I, I did too. I mean, because the thing, everything is not going to be Gears, Halo. What really makes those games their money is the DLC, the map packs, and you know, you know, it's yeah. just constantly, you know. And that game, it wasn't really set up like that, you know. I mean, as far as the multiplayer and stuff, you know, what I mean. Uh, but like I said, I would like to. The reason why I say I, I would like him 
besides me being the Xbox, for my own selfish reasons. But um, I look at uh, Titanfall 2 and what happened with that. And when they decided to, you know, put the game multi-plat, they more or less changed the core of the game. It wasn't the same goddamn game. It didn't use the cloud the same. And to be honest, a lot of Xbox fans didn't support it. You know, green discs is not as sexy. I'm not going to talk about that shit anymore. Uh, uh, but, you know, it was a lot of shit to go along with it. But, I, you know, I just would like to see Microsoft investing something other than just Gears, Forza, and Halo. You know what I mean? Oh, I agree. I agree. You know, Titanfall 2, the main problem with that game is the fucking release date. Like, what a bunch of idiots, right? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. That, too. that close to Battlefield 1. Nuts. Yeah, yeah but that, if, if, if Sunset Overdrive sold a million, that's not bad because that was like 1. What, 2. 14. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, so that's only a year after Xbox launch. So that's actually pretty good, you know. Yeah. Um, but not that every, by talking to people in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> but but not but not every game not every game is gonna be a, a Gears or an Uncharted. You know, you gotta have your infamouses and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. to just to, you gotta have a portfolio of gamers, and um of games and um something like Sunset Overdrive. They were to lock it down. It was. The sequel might end up doing better, you know. So and it could be I fun. believe it would. But you gotta try though. You can't just assume. All right, this didn't sell five million on the first go, so we're just gonna move on to the next cycle. And they know that, you know, they're fucking, you know, billionaires for a reason, right? So it, it just depends on what they feel like doing. They could very well be putting all that money into something like State of Decay Two, turning that into the game that it should be. You know, that's a game that people just looked over because it was used for the three sixty. You know, yeah. it, it sold really well when it when it sold on the three sixty yeah. arcade. Yeah. Game. Uh, but my, my question is to that is, do you think that same audience, maybe that bought on the 360 or whatever, will be there supported on the, you know, on the, you know, on the Xbox One? Because it did do really extremely well. But that title was $20. But is this going to be a $60 game? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they basically triple laid it out, right? So it really depends. It's going to have Scorpio support. That's going to notice on Pro. All the multiplats are selling way more on PlayStation than they usually are, right? Mm -hmm. And that's because people have PlayStation Pro. Even the Xbox guys, they got PlayStation Pros. They want to see what they just paid all this money for. Okay. Uh, so it depends on what kind of support they give these games coming out on Scorpio this year. But, I mean, hopefully it's uh, 60 FPS Ultra. I mean, you can't really miss that shit, right? You can miss resolution. Depending on where you are and how big your TV is, but <laughs> ultra, you're missing that. Five, right? six, so. five feet back, fourteen forty p is just as good as four k. Hey, yeah. you know what the fuck's up Digital with Digital Foundry, man? step a few feet back, you can't oh tell the difference. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Even even if even if, even if you step back, you can still fucking see it because a four k image, it's just more of the image that's there, like. It's a crock of shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and more than anything, it looks like you get, like I was playing Arkham Knight 4K Ultra, and I was, because uh, I'm doing a bunch of benchmarks for the channel because motherfuckers still don't think six teraflops can do 4K Ultra. So, you know, it looks like you could actually reach in there and, and like, push on his armor and shit, right? Wow. I mean, it, it's not, like, night and day, right? But it's nice. It's, like, a very... Uh, a crack rock coat, coated cherry on top, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it's definitely <laughs> something that's going to stand out. Dealer, you know, you know, PC stuff. I, I listen to you talk about tech a lot, and I got to ask about um, PlayStation Four Pro doesn't seem to be prioritizing sixty FPS. They keep pushing this locked thirty four K crap, mm -hmm. and um, I expect, I totally expect Scorpio to push the agenda to give you the option. To choose 1080p 60 with higher graphic settings. If they do that, then they've just but, they've just like, won, in my opinion. Like every That's PC cool. game, you you have these options, you know. And I, I want to ask someone who knows about this stuff: How hard is it to code in in the option settings instead of just this brightness and gamma bull crap? Why can't they bring in this option where you choose a pull down of three, you get uh, low graphics, high settings uh, for frame rate, and uh, and then another option to go 4K 30. You know? I get what you're saying. There are name. games that do this right now, man. Well, even on the Pro, there are games that do this, right? Yeah. There's a couple of them, right? It's Rise easy to implement them. The There's a few of them. Neo, Neo actually did on the vanilla PS4 too. So if they could do it. Yeah, yeah that's all, a resolution all, difference already, though. With yeah. Rise of the Tomb Raider though, you got anything from Tessellation or Bump to Ultra. I mean, there's... A, vast array of options on Rise oh, all of that's on the console version yeah yeah it's all it's all coded in there it's just the developer just leaves it there for themselves for them to control it but they could easily open that up to the user by not giving as many options but yeah like an option of three of different flavors yeah they, they could do it and and i would i would think that the uh 
the Scorpio will allow you to do that because the Scorpio should be about options, right? It should, it should, if yeah. they're going to give the developer the option to do what they want, they should also give the user the option. Of the best option well. though, man, is that, that 60 FPS and what from people are saying, yeah. developers are saying the CPU and the pro for a lot of their engines. Now there are certain engines like RE set, RE engine, uh, frostbite, the latest iteration of frostbite, uh, certain engines that are optimized for 60 FPS over everything, right? You notice that they're getting 60 FPS on very low power CPUs. Mm-hmm. But you need the CPU to send the draw calls to get the frame, right, to even display it. So you need you need double the speed from the Pro's processor, double the efficiency to get double the frames on some of these more demanding engines yeah, when it comes yeah. to frame rate. So that's what the main reason you're not getting just a boost, like instant boost on every game to 60 FPS. Like that's the reason Horizon Zero Dawn still doesn't have a 60 FPS patch when they said they're going to make a patch for performance. Uh-huh. It's still 30 FPS locked. It's just locked 100% of the time now. Because Uh they can't get to 60. And 30 locked is way better to gamers than 45, 30, negative 4, 32. You know what I'm saying? Uh, So that's why you're seeing that. So Phil used the word balance in his quote on Twitter. My idea of balance when it comes to a PC is no bottlenecks. And hopefully that CPU is just good enough. Or with some of that CPU interpolation technology they were talking about in the white powers, it's good enough to give us 60 FPS at will. That's just... Uh I'm 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 am still gonna stick to it. I, I really think that the Scorpio is gonna have uh, a Ryzen in there. I can't see it having anything else in there. I think it's gonna have a, an R5, a, a Ryzen R5 in there, a custom uh, eight core, uh, eight thread CPU. Uh, there's there's no other way around it because that would be better for the long run. That would set them it, up it, for it, a it, ridiculous. It's gonna have it's gonna have Vega in it. With Vega not having Ryzen in it, there is no balance there. It, it it just doesn't make sense. It has to have Ryzen and Vega. But, but don't you think they acquired the CPU and locked that down like almost a year ago from launch? Pro- you know, like yeah, what? and, and Ryzen Ryzen's been in the work for a long time too. And yes. there's like some there's like some back room talk that Microsoft, Microsoft had a R&D. lot to do with the R and D of yeah. uh, of Ryzen and Vega. And that's how they're able to get it in their stuff, a, a custom version of it, and they'll be able to get it for a cheaper price. Well, the important thing is that no matter what's in it, people are going to be very impressed. It's yes. enough power to give you all the fucking graphical fidelity and resolution you want. Hopefully, they do the right thing and give us the option for 60. That's all. So, all right, guys, throw in your chips how much. Let's all throw in our number how much you think. 500. 500. 500. 500 maximum. 500 max. I think, I, well, I, 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 think, I think they're going to come in aggressive, to be honest with you. to I think they're going to come in aggressively at $400 because I was watching GDC today and, um, you know, AMD is touting Vega and they're saying that it's going to be affordable. They said they want to bring it to the masses, so they want to make it affordable. And uh, I, I, just, I just think it's going to be a good price. I, I, I don't think people will have a problem paying 100 bucks more for something that does more. Who is this right here? Who's that talking? It's all day's diabetic ass. Oh, wait, 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 it's all day on nigga time. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. It's seven thirty, brother. Hey, Listen, man. Mama, Mama, hey, check this out. I'm gonna find him five bucks for this show, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, my watch, my watch, yeah. my malt liquor bubbles. Yeah, it was yeah. late. This it was late. You know yeah. I mean? so, oh God. I'm sorry, but I'm just fucking with you all day. What's going on, good no, brother? It's all good. Nah, chilling. Uh, uh, what up? Like, being that you just joining, you know, uh, what's your thoughts about the uh, Xbox? Game Pass. Oh man, that's great, bro. Yeah, especially, for, motherfuckers, spe- especially for motherfuckers who's mowing lawns and wiping down windows. Hey, court man, we got a wild sense of humor here. Pay us no mind, man. Hope you're not offended. No, man. no, it's perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it's definitely in the consumer's lane. Yeah. You know, especially like say if I bought my little brother or little nephew, you know, Xbox and. Mm-hmm. They didn't knock you. I'm, hey, man, I'm, the grass is too tall. I'm, I ran out of gas. I can't get no more money. So. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to I'm gonna have to give you this 10 bucks. And, and with that 10 bucks, they should be satisfied. Hey, just sure. so you know, too, that that is shareable through Game Share on Xbox. Yeah, uh, Xbox, uh, Aaron Greenberg just confirmed that. Oh, shout out to Aaron Greenberg, my man. Yeah, that's great, man. He just confirmed that I see him on the, on the wire. That's the same thing as you can share like your Xbox Live. Uh, you know, the, the family pass thing. Well, well, let me ask you a question. Again, uh, you're just joining and, and, and then cold. Um, well, first of all, you, you, did you get your PS4 yet or are you going to, are you you're still waiting? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. You get, listen, you get your, your social security check. So at the beginning <laughs> of the month, you're nah, buying your nah, fucking nah, nah, nah. PlayStation 4, right? You get the pro or you get the slim. What are you doing? Oh, I'm getting a slim, man. I ain't getting no pro. Okay. He's getting a slim, slim, slim is in. All right. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, they've been, the reviews have been, 
They said it's this it's this this the second coming of the black Jesus here. We, the, we got the black Jesus. Second Listen. term. It's the second coming of uh, well, seventy nine system. That, 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 that hype doesn't bother me because I'm petty. So. <laughs> you, when, when, uh, you know, I, I, I mean, I guarantee I can pop it in within 20 minutes. I'll hate it. Oh, uh, so, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know about that. I had to play it for at least eight hours before I hated it. Oh, okay. Well, see, <laughs> so I mean, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's a good game. I, if I take it for face value and act like I never played something similar, then I'll be, I'll, I'll be good. I gotta put some uh, different. Type yeah, of games but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta act like you've never seen something similar exactly. because uh, there's exactly. a big, big plot gap there. I'm not gonna, right. out of respect for D because he's way behind me, I'm not going to divulge that, but I'm just going to say Cyberdyne, Judgment Day. <laughs> okay, well, 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 again, well, I mean, so you, you are picking up Horizon yeah, Zero Dawn. Okay. Hey, Colt, you did, you did a good brother, Colt? Yep. yep. All right. Uh, do you, first of all, do you have a PlayStation 4? I don't. Oh, all right, all right, uh, <laughs> are you interested in getting a PlayStation 4? There hasn't actually been a first party title that would warrant me there buying we one. Go. Yet. There we go. Um, I'm not interested. In, I played The Last of Us on PS3, uh, okay. and uh, I'm not interested in playing the port. And Uncharted 4 looks great, but it just yeah. I'm not going to buy a PlayStation 4 for it. I Uncharted know that the. Good, man, but yeah, I wouldn't buy a PS4 just for that one game. What about yeah, that God of War? Jesus, come on, man. Cool. Well, you know, it might it might come out this year, but I've been telling everybody I don't think it'll be in seventeen. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There just hasn't been anything, and I like to bash on PlayStation a lot, and mostly because I see what Xbox gives to its you know consumers, mm -hmm. and PlayStation doesn't do it. And you know, it's it's easy for me to make fun of them for not offering backward compatibility. I did a whole campaign where I tried to get people to to send tweets to sony and the playstation division yeah I've been, I've been looking at your back color uh your back catalog of videos and i had to you know vet you because i spoke to my man donald g chump and i'm trying to make the <laughs> xbox community great again you know yeah, I, mean? so, I put a hat I on trump you, this is i didn't game know he was part of the, the deplorables enough for well, you know give me you know, the okay for you can do the show today but uh, think, all jokes aside though you know what i mean uh so horizon zero dawn uh the last of us is a good game i mean the last not the last i'm sorry uh uncharted 4 i did like yeah. Um, I just I just popped in my Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, to just finished downloading. Uh, but that guy, I'm a big. If you don't know, I'm a God of War fanboy. That God of War Four is fucking. I'm all, I'm all on it. And they other they also have the other game, No Days. What's that? No Days Left or No Days Gone? No Days. Days Gone. gone. Days okay. Gone. No, it's called My Final Day. Whatever the hell it's called. Then you got the uh, <laughs> got Spider Man. I got listen. This what this is just what I'm saying. This is why I give Sony credit for those games. Now I'm not talking about that. Hot chopstick thirty two shit, you know, Yakzuku. <laughs> yeah, we are talking about Jab Congress here. We're not talking. Yeah, about I, yeah, I'm not talking about who dropped who at the bomb first or who bombed Pearl Harbor. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the <laughs> meat and the potatoes. <laughs> Fucking Horizon Zero Dawn looks like to be a good game. Now I know that company's track record. They make very pretty games, um, like the Killzone series. They're just not fun. Also, they just got leaked recently too. Uh, that they're. they're Sony's gonna be showing Killzone Five or whatever the hell. The next, the new, a new Killzone. Um, but I hope the game is fun. They, they, that company, uh, Gorilla, reminds me of Crytek. I mean, very pretty game. But they're, they're just I haven't fun. heard a single complaint about Horizon Zero Dawn, guys. So I wouldn't even worry about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm in school. I mean, I got it. I mean, I have my PlayStation Four just for the exclusives. But I guess if I, if I had to give Sony, um, uh, uh, some credit here, is that they have, uh, let's say. Uh, a better pedigree of single player story driven games. Does, does that make sense? You know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and as if, if it's one thing I wish Microsoft, because again, we're talking about a Denny, a trillion dollar fucking company. I, if they can, they got the multiplayer thing going smash. That they, they listen, they got that on smash. The multiplayer aspect of gaming, they're the king of that shit there. But, you know, uh, I mean, Quantum Break didn't do I like, I love Quantum Break. It was a great game to me. You know what I mean? But, I want them to have more games like that so they can appeal to a bigger audience and then just like you say the the the, the Doritos and the Mountain Dew Xbox fans, you know what I mean? Yeah, well like yeah. Dealer and I pointed out last week that Xbox kind of gets up even with uh first party Sony games. You know, our the, the Forza they have a handful of Forza games that are like up in the nines. If those games weren't there, like you said, they're not single player campaign games. Those games weren't there, they wouldn't be anywhere near Sony's first. Party well, then battles. keep in mind too that the list on the other side that you did also had three MOB games in it. 
Hey, Gilly, you're such a fucking <laughs> X-Bot, man. They're high-rated fucking X-Bot. There's a difference between lying your ass off and telling the truth, and that's just stone cold yeah. fucking fact. You know, we've been listening to the console war, guys, for like almost four years, and it's gotten so old, but really what it comes down to is both consoles are great. Yes. They're, they're both very good. They do yes. what they do. And the games, their first-party games, they have a nice little handful of games, and I mean a little handful. And uh, I've been people plus games, thirteen hundred, yeah. right? Yeah, and I'm like the the multiplats where it's at. If we, we want to talk about our all time favorite games, we're talking Fallout, Borderlands, Mass Effect. You know these games that we play on every system. Those are our favorite games. We may like one or two, like uh, The Last of Us or um, Halo so that's far Three between. or something. Go ahead. Ip. All day. No, I just yeah. said it's far, it's far in between. You know what I mean? Exclusives, you might like, out of five, you might like one or two. Yeah, there's a reason sure. Uncharted 4 was like number 19 on the top 20, right? Wasn't it D or something like that? Yeah, it was like, he's yeah, all yeah, petting yeah. his goat. Never mind. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> hungry, hungry. <laughs> no, yeah. like Unchar- yeah. the exclusive, like Uncharted 4, I don't remember what month it was. It wasn't too far. It was like number 19 out of, you know, out of the top 20 games. So that just shows you how popular multiplats are, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, multiplats are killing. Oh, Although I will, I will say, I will say though, that this Horizon Zero Dawn, from what I've played of it so far, it it, it seems like a legitimate hit. I, I I like the game. It's it's got a yeah, lush environment. Good, but it, it, to tell you the truth, good. I'm more excited for the franchise than the game. You know what do you mean by that? What kind of what kind of black chap shit was that? What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 nah, hey, check it out. I just feel like as a new icon, a new face. I feel like. They can yeah. just grow on this experience and just double yeah. down on it in the future. What are you doing? I mean, yeah, I mean yeah, they, yeah. they can. And, 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 and I'm gonna give. I'm gonna I mean, give. There's, there's, there's. You can, you can, you can. There's been like what five Terminator movies, so you can, you can definitely make five hey, games. Hey, Pee what the fuck are you talking about, Pee <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Man, he, 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 yeah, you know, you know the plot line. The plot line is actually. You know, you know, you know what? In all, in all honesty, like I'm gonna give a good game, a good game mm-hmm. a review, and it's it's a good game. I'm fuck the fanboy shit. It's a good fucking game, and uh, it, it looks good. It plays well, and it's 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 a a franchise was born. You know, there's there's gonna be sequels, and you know, and gamers are gonna look forward to it. And and hats off to Sony on this. I'll give them the credit for this because it's very hard to start a new IP and for it to be successful. And this game, by all accounts, looks like it's gonna be successful. And for what I played of it, it's a fucking fantastic game. Definitely a nine. Mhm. Definitely a nine. Okay. Yeah. But oh, okay, at the end of the day, uh, like I said, I have the game to a game. But like I said, I would give Sony credit for that. They do make that's their their stake there. The one player story between the game. They got Spider Man comes out, which looks awesome. Can't wait to play that. Uh, they got, of course, Horizon Zero Dawn. I just got that. Um, and they also have too the I don't know if they're going to do this as a separate game, but the Uncharted DLC uh, with the woman or something like a Tomb Raider that comes yeah, out this, yeah, this holiday season. Um, the standalone, but like I said, but moving right along, Halo Wars 2 came out and it kind of took the top spot from Neo, which was a shocker. You know, I didn't expect like who the fuck wants to play RTS in this day, I didn't think it would do well. But it apparently, uh, Halo Wars 2 is doing extremely well out there on the market. What are your thoughts about that dealer? Did you get Halo Wars 2? Yeah, I beat it. Um, damn, yeah, the game. I mean, fuck, it's been out for a week. You you want to say, nigger. (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's a a good game man if you like if you like halo uh get it because it's got a lot of that story that's going to tie into halo 6 i'm sure uh the the blur cinematics are ridiculously detailed and the gameplay i didn't encounter the bugs that you know dan stapleton was talking about i didn't have any issues with any bugs at all who the fuck is that uh the motherfucker that reviewed it from ign Fuck his grandfather. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't have any issues with bugs. Uh, the game looks good on Xbox One. As a matter of fact, I, I played it on uh, Windows 10 for about 30 minutes. And I was like, you know, this looks exactly like the Xbox One version, but at 1080p almost. Obviously, I was playing at 4K60. Um, I mean, it looks good. It's it's definitely not much of a difference on PC oh, aside from the frame rate. 1080p60 on the Xbox One? 
No, it's it's thirty on the X one. That's why I say aside from the frame rate, that's the biggest thing you'll notice. Uh, okay. But I did play ninety eight percent of it on the X one. It looks great. That's where I just preferred to play it, okay. uh, and the controls work well as well. So if you're a fan of RTSs or if you're kind of new to them, you kind of like them. This is a simple one, but it, it'll get the job done if you're looking to get into this. Uh, and like I said, the story is not bad either. Oh. Yeah, oh, I heard, that I heard. whole sales bullshit. Yeah, I think it's like number two overall and number one for yeah, the Xbox it, it, it side. Knocked, it, it knocked off uh, Neo uh, on the you know on the UK side. Uh, I think Neo was down late twenty. Forza Horizon, I think, was also bad. It was, on, it was ahead of Neo. Um, so, which one of you guys is going on to Metacritic and user scores and knocking down all the Xbox exclusives? <laughs> <laughs> That's Porter Rock. Hey, Porter Rock, motherfucker. Hey, hey, Mr. Look at that across. Look at that across the board. You look Hold at a good scene on Horizon. <laughs> you fucking fiend. <laughs> playing, playing Horizon with one hand and downvoting Halo Two Wars, but Halo Wars Two on another. Yeah, it's just a, you'll see like an eighty-eight uh, industry industry score on an Xbox game, and then the user score is like four or five, and it's like, hmm, what's the disconnect here? You know we got like Sony is? gamers like logging in like crazy. You know what the you know what the disconnect is, uh, Colt? Um, yeah. It's, uh, when it comes to this internet thing, what I've noticed, there are more Sony fans. Whatever the fuck on the internet, you know, then they are actual Xbox guys. You know, I remember when I started doing this, I was like, you know, I didn't know any other pro Xbox channels, you know what I mean? Uh, before I drew the line in the sand. And it would be outnumbered like fucking five to one over here, you know what I mean? So, oh, yeah. so not, not just even you go to Amazon or Best Buy when you go to buy an Xbox product, look at the review, look at the fucking, this shit is crazy. That's what Phil said, you know, what do you think that, you know, the console war is, you know, all this shit. They will always be a console war. That's just the nature of man that wants to validate their purchase. My hair, my shit is better than yours. It's not just in consoles. Apple and the Zoom, uh, iPod and the Zoom, fucking yeah. trucks. Yeah. Uh, on, 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 on the PC to call, you're on the PC. What what GPU do you have? Yeah. I and have the uh, AMD. You have I have the almighty 1070. I love see, it. He's an yeah. he's Nvidia. See, I'm freaking AMD. Fuck you that see? shit, Vega. Oh, like, you're that ass. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I, I don't. That's a weird thing. I'm not fanboy about uh, AMD or Nvidia. I don't care. Uh, my friend has an AMD, and we have kind of the same build. He loves it, and I love mine. And I'm like, hey, your game running good? It's like, yeah, mine too. But see, listen, probably secretly behind his back, he probably thinks his wife is ugly. Listen, that's just the nature. Of the listen, bro, it's cool. It's the nature of men. We all it is the it. nature. It's it's yeah. why it's we why we all fight. All bias yeah. about something, you know. I just don't take my bias to. I'm an Xbox guy. I I I, I make no quarrels about that. But I don't have a problem if Sony got something hot. You know, it's cool. I I get it. Or you won't never catch me tweeting Yoshida and you know death pics and all that wild shit like that. Oh my that. gosh! Yeah, I don't. It is not that serious to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those Sony guys, forget about it. They threaten. Remember they threatened the, the actress from goddamn Tomb Raider with rape. You know what I mean? She, uh, like it's literally, you know, annually rape. They wanted to rape her because the game was coming out on the Xbox first. Remember that shit there? Like you know. And my thing is again, even with Sony. And that, this has always been my issue, is that they don't come out and say anything. They let their fans just fucking run wild. Like, you know, isn't it? It was like in like 2014, 2015, it was really fucking bad out there, man. I I, I thought nigga was my name. I thought that was my fucking government <laughs> oh my name, man. Oh my gosh. I, I, uh huh. You Xbox Sign your nigger. Name here, like, please, sir. Yeah, I'm like, Jesus, I've been called everything but a child of God. That's why I gotta do the Lord's work, man. Uh, but name? like I said, no, this, yeah, I, I think in the end of the day, it's just that's just what it is, and it's going to be a, um, it's going to be a, you know, it's always going to be a console war. It is what it is. Like I said, things are uh, either going to heat up when Scorpio comes out. You know what I mean? That's going to be fucking more shit. You know what I mean? Digital found. Hey, let's ask, let me ask the panel a question. Yeah. Xbox Scorpio, keeping the name, ditching the name. What you think? Ditching, ditching it. Yeah. Somebody I think they're going to come up with something like Xbox One XT or some crap. I don't know what they're going to do. I, well, somebody, uh, what's his name? Uh, spaghetti Chicken said Xbox Prime. Xbox Prime? Yeah. Xbox Vega. Xbox Vega. Xbox 4K. It's the Xbox Pro that does a lot more. <laughs> what the? F you little sloppy drunk Puerto Rican. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in here with some Bacardi and Horizon, motherfucker. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> that mono headset. <laughs> mono headset. <laughs> uh, 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 but I guess, like I said, before we get the hell up out of here, we've been going on about you know, need like an hour. Uh, Colt, what are you? What are you looking forward to playing? What are you looking forward to getting this this generation? Um, something that you're interested in, whether it's console. Or- you know, it's weird. I've been playing a lot of uh, really good last gen games on my PC. <laughs> Oh, he, oh like he's just bucks. like a PC gamer. Jesus, oh, PC guys are cheap. No, m- m- Mr. Humble Bundle right there, man. Yeah, Humble Bundle. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I just I just bought Bullet Storm for like four bucks. And uh, oh, yeah, it's just. Man. Yeah, and I'm not going to buy the full clip edition. But, <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah. you shave off the $3.60. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you know, everybody was going to buy the full clip edition for 60 bucks, and I've already got it for five. So hey, it's just, I guarantee you, when you go to the fucking mcdonald's you probably put all the ketchup packets in an old ketchup bottle um, <laughs> <We> fill it. <laughs> oh, PC guys, they, 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 they're cheap man i don't know well, we, the pc yeah. guys gotta be cheap because we spent like 1200 bucks on our exactly. rigs exactly <laughs> yeah, get, get, get us eight teraflop computer to play minesweeper no no i'm looking forward to uh mass effect andromeda's coming up i've got it uh oh, pre-ordered no. um you i'm getting well uh yes it is and I'm getting, uh, I'll probably get Crackdown 3 and Shadow of War. Definitely getting that. Oh, and oh, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, that's going to be on console. That's oh, coming. yeah. That's not coming to P. Are you going to pick up the Scorpio? Uh, I'm not planning on it, but, you know. What? Somebody cut this motherfucking mic <laughs> off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> really? I thought you vetted him before he came in here, man. What the hell is going on? I mean, here, it's, man? Just an, it's an opinion, man. It's I, thought, for, I thought he was vetted, man. I got to talk to my man, Dr. J. Trump. The Scorpio is, is for console dudes. That's what a lot of PC guys forget. Like They're like, my PC this. It's like, well, the console and I don't give a shit because he's buying a $450 box that was, you know, ba- you know, with the performance that you were bragging about having a year ago, two years ago, that cost you mm-hmm. 1500 bucks. Oh. So it is what it is, right? If you're console deuce the best no. visuals you're ever going to see yeah and i totally believe that the scorpio is going to look like a thousand dollar pc this holiday so um you know it's going to be really tough when the when that thing gets announced and i'm looking at taking my xbox one and giving it to the kids in the family room uh-huh. that's where it's going to all come down to the real truth <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> who knows though they might get you yeah they might get at the end of the day well um anything to say before we get the hell out of here dealer uh, I mean, as always, subscribe to everybody on the panel. Check out Colt Eastwood. Yeah, check out my man Colt, the uh, PC gamer. Colt forty five and two zigzags, <laughs> baby. That's all we need. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, motherfucking man. Oh Jesus. Uh, but um, dealer. I'm not dealer. Dean. D. Yeah, I'm here. I yeah, I just I, I'm uploading the video right now. The devil's dead. <laughs> I, have to feed the, I have to feed the have to feed the have to feed the goat, man. I have to feed yeah. the goat. Right. My man's playing Horizon. That's why he's doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I I'm uploading a, a video right now on all the events that took place today at GDC uh, regarding AMD and the Vega architecture. So if you guys want to know all the details and all the, the new technologies coming from uh, AMD for uh, mm-hmm. developers this year tune into my video It'll probably be up in the next half hour 40 minutes so mm-hmm. subscribe to my channel at awesome. batch and you're able to see that all right uh p reaper you paying anything this uh weekend uh, you know? well i'll have my i'll have my first impressions on uh the cyberdyne uh horizon zero dawn uh, opinion piece uh probably later tonight or maybe early tomorrow morning depending when mm-hmm. i finish it i have a good eight hundred eight hours of footage to go through so and it should be an interesting video because I got all the way to the end. So I have like I have like recorded it hour by hour by hour by hour by hour. So I have to go through the uh, the hours and decide which footage I want to use. Oh, Jesus Christ! Because I have not beaten it, but I I do honestly want to say what I personally think about the game. All and, right. Are you gonna piss on it? Inquiring minds will know. Are you gonna pee on it? I, I'm not. I'm not gonna oh, piss on yeah. it. I'm not gonna piss on it. My turn wants me to sell yeah. the game to him. I'm like, no, man. Once I buy the game, the no, game. No, that's what you do. No, listen. Listen. You wanna be a YouTube star? That's what you do. Fuck this, right? Sleazy. You just oh. be real. You take it in the bathroom like you did the PS4. Piss on it and go and sell it to your friend. 
<laughs> no, nah, what, he, nah, what he's probably going to do is take the Horizon Zero disc and try to fuck the hole in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he said, he did say TB was suffering from skinny dick syndrome, man. Like, oh, man. Oh, oh, man. If you want a ruler, I mean, you can see, you, you can measure my dick. But anyway, oh, guys, oh, that. Hey. <laughs> on Listen. that note. <laughs> you gay in here. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's been a game. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. It's a little, it's a little multiplayer podcast. We're going on here today, right now. We're going to call next. Next, Jenga be called next taco meat. Yo, next, yo, yeah, next, meat. next, just take it off his shirt. Dealer's getting all turned on, uh, twerking his nipples. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. The albino, the albino bodybuilding kid. I can smell the B.O. from here, nigga. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> yo, yo, the minute old bitch love me, man. <laughs> Yo, Nick, oh, tell, tell the audience where you saw us in that store. What store was that that you saw us in? What are you talking about, Pete Reaper? That uh, that that um, that clip from that IT store on on Bang Bang. Is that a fucking grinder poster in the background. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for. <laughs> too so sexy, sexy yeah. it hurts. Listen, I'm too sexy for I'm this podcast. Model. Ladies and gentlemen, man, ah. listen. Shit, here we go. The bearded chest. Yeah, it's the, it's, <laughs> the bearded it's, chest. It's, uh, it's, you, need, you need to put some dreads on that chest, man. Yeah, you know I mean, but at least my roof ain't slanted. But anyway, <laughs> listen. Thank you guys for rocking out with Xbox Beast Fight. This is your boy, the shirtless gamer, and um, I'm about to hop on this Horizon Zero door to get my pony on, man. We will catch you guys all during the week on each one of these guys. We'll, my little pony. Uh, we got. Uh, we'll get the, hey, Colt, give me the, the link to your channel so I can post it and you guys can check you out. They say, who the fuck is this Colt guy? Everyone's going to check you out. Uh, of course, Dealer Gamer, the D, the Goat Petter, my man, Porter Rock. Uh, and listen to Porter Rock, man. I gave you your props the other day, man. I said, you're destroying the council. What's up? The council, the PlayStation Council. Wow. Wow. Like, you get they get like they average like thirty six views in their podcast. Like what the fuck, man? Yeah, well, what's up with destroy the Porter Rock destroying council? I mean, that, that, that's I'm, I'm, that's nothing I'm, new. I'm the fucking Mark Anthony of this shit. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> fuck Jabari. But anyway, uh, <laughs> nah, fuck that. No, listen, oh, you man. can't be modest here. You got to listen. You got oh, to be very clear. No, shout out to my boy. Those motherfuckers are boring. We're not going to shout them out here. Listen, we're going to catch you guys on the week. Thank you for rocking out with us. Uh, we're about to get the hell out of here. I'm about to go Thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us, Colt. I know we're right, crazy much.